These are the wrestlers the WWE truly needs to continue their dominance. Talent has always shifted in the pro wrestling world. There are often good reasons behind these shifts. Sometimes a wrestler will fail to catch on in one company, only to become a major star in another. This happened with Steve Austin and Rick Rude, who both broke through into the main event after leaving the companies where they gained their initial fame. That being said, there are certain active wrestlers that the WWE truly needs to sign if they want to stay on top. Here are 10 dream acquisitions for the WWE roster, and how likely they are to join. Number 1. The Villain Marty Skrull The villain presents a truly unique talent that the WWE would be hard pressed to pass up on. He's already WWE ready just based on his look and gimmick, but then you factor in his tremendous talent between the ropes and you have a man who could keep up with the 205 live performers and still make a big impact on the main roster. Will he sign or won't he? It remains to be seen. Right now Skrull is doing well for himself on the indie circuit and his deals with Ro and New Japan, but we're betting if they offered a contract he would bite. Number 2. Tessa Blanchard We're just going to say it, Tessa Blanchard is a better wrestler than her father. While we love and honor him, Tessa has more technical skill, better high-flying ability, and she's much easier on the eyes than her father. What really blows one's mind is that WWE had a chance to acquire Tessa, but didn't take it. Now she's under contract with Impact Wrestling for at least a year, and has been turning heads her way in the wrestling world with her top-notch performances. Will she sign or won't she? Tessa admitted she was devastated when the WWE did not offer her a contract. Despite the fact that there will be some bitterness, we're betting that they may call her again after her current contract is up, and she will probably say yes. Number 3. NATO. Kenny Omega and Akita may be the present for NJPW, but NATO is their future. Arguably the most talented member of the NJPW roster, NATO started his career as a generic babyface but really took off once he created a heel persona. Now he's the bad guy fans love to cheer, and his attitude is perfect for the WWE. Will he sign or won't he? NATO is being groomed as the heir apparent in NJPW, so the chances against him signing with WWE are high. However, never say never. Number 4. Punishment Martinez. The towering, darkly gothic Punishment Martinez is the current Row World Television Champion. With obvious power, but also speed and agility, Martinez is one of the brightest young stars on the rise in the world of wrestling. Will he sign or won't he? Roe has been very good to Martinez, but sooner or later we bet the bright lights and big arenas of WWE will start calling punishment home. Number 5. Brian Cage. Brian Cage has the look that WWE craves so much in its main event talent, but also has a lot of ability in the ring. He can perform moonsaults and hurricane ranas no problem, and is fast enough to keep up with the X Division competitors. Will he sign or won't he? We believe it's just a matter of time until WWE takes an interest in this chiseled monster, and the answer will be an enthusiastic yes. Number 6. Pentagon. Rey Mysterio and Callisto notwithstanding, WWE has few Lucha Libre stars on its roster. What better way to amend that than by hiring one of the most popular, influential, and compelling Lucha stars of the current generation? Will he sign or won't he? Pentagon has already left AAA and is performing for both Lucha Underground and Impact Wrestling GFW. He's already shown a willingness to relocate for his career so if WWE offers him a contract we bet he'll sign it. Number 7. The Young Bucks. 
Matt and Nick Jackson continue to dominate the tag team wrestling scene both in the US and overseas. Their mix of high-flying antics and precision-perfect technical wrestling has made them almost as big as their super kick parties. Will they sign or won't they? We're betting that the answer to that is no, at least for the time being. The Bucks make millions of dollars without a major wrestling organization to back them up, and enjoy a lot of creative freedom. The contract would have to be quite lucrative and contain a lot of clauses relating to how the Bucks are allowed to perform before they say yes. Number 8. Dalton Castle. The former radio DJ and amateur wrestler brings not just style and flamboyance which he has in spades but unbelievable strength and agility as well. His ring psychology is second to none, and he has already been to the top of the Roe Mountain as world champion. Will he sign or won't he? With Dalton's broadcasting experience supplementing his wrestling skills, we're willing to bet that the WWE would make an investment in him, and Dalton would probably head there if the offer were made. Number 9. The Rainmaker Kazuchika Akita. With two five-star matches against Kenny Omega under his belt, Akita has been the talk of the wrestling world for over a year. His personality and charisma are at least as impressive as his physical attributes. Will he sign or won't he? Akita's poise and elegance would lend themselves well to the WWE, and we're betting he sees the opportunity for what it is and takes the contract if it is offered. Number 10. Kenny Omega. The current IWGP heavyweight champion, Omega is believed to be the best in-ring performer working today. With his mix of charisma, stiff strikes, and technical acumen he serves NJPW well as its standard bearer. Will he sign or won't he? It seems unlikely. Omega is quite happy working in NJPW, and doesn't mind living in the land of the rising sun, in fact, he loves it. WWE would have to offer not only a lot of money but some creative control clauses in his contract if they want to acquire Omega but it would behoove them to do so at the earliest opportunity. There you have it, 10 dream wrestler acquisitions for the WWE. Who else would you like to see work for the WWE? Please comment and let us know.